Hello to all my people. Welcome to Perfect Women, India's first talking magazine with my guest Pooja Kushwai, an image consultant and a journalist and author. So let's get going with her. Hello Pooja ji, how are you? Hello ma'am. I am good. How are you? Yeah, very fine sweetheart. Welcome to Perfect Women. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to have you though it was in roller coaster ride catching you but it is never late to meet such a wonderful and a beautiful personality like you can you just introduce yourself a little bit to all the readers and the viewers right now specifically the listeners yeah sure so hello everyone i'm pooja bushwaha and i'm from allahabad and basically i started my journey as a scientist but currently i'm an image consultant and host of pooja's talk show yeah that's about me Wow, that's amazing, Pooja. Since you just said that you are from the field of science, that's completely a different genre. And today you are into the entertainment industry. So, how was the transformation from a scientist to getting into image consultants? Yeah, actually, it is a long journey, or you can say that it's like self-discovery. Uh, I was into the science field and I studied it. So that's what I was there in the science field. I worked in the science field for five years. Then uh, I realized that that thing is not suiting to my personality. Personality in the sense, I am very talkative person. I love to express myself. I love to present myself. And in that field, I was not able to express myself properly because it was very technical field. Mm-hmm. So I started. I left my job and then I started exploring, and I wanted to do which I love most. So I love fashion, and second, uh, the communication. So that's how I came into training industry, and from there to image consulting. And simultaneously, I love talking to the people, so I started my talk show also. So wow, that's, that's how. Wow, that's amazing! Absolutely, this is uh, something that destiny has their own roles to play. and since you have been into different fields so when so when you entered the industry which is all about image consultancy so how different it is like since you are into a part for a long time how can you how do you describe it actually uh, if i'll say image consulting it's not a new field basically it was you know part of our life but mm-hmm. it was in the scattered form we always you know uh, follow the, those concepts or mm-hmm. but we never become so th- thoughtful about it and now mm-hmm. it's uh, grown as a industry so for example uh, in mm-hmm. image consulting we talk about etiquette manners as well right if you okay. see you know from your childhood your mom taught you so many things right don't eat like this don't you know make noise while chewing right these small mm-hmm. small etiquettes they have taught you but as we grown up we forgot all those things these all things comes into the image industry when we teach etiquette to somebody wow, right similar yeah similarly like when we talk about appearance so as you know that uh, the mm-hmm. clothes what we wear it's an important part of our personality okay everybody has their own sense of uh mm-hmm. you know expressing themselves as a uh, you know um, in the form of when they wear the clothes absolutely everybody has their own personal style so image consulting i don't think so it's a very new industry we know we follow all those things but very thoughtful way or very strategic way nowadays we started doing it mm-hmm. Wow! So, as you are into this, have you done any course or something before you started your own consultancy? Yes, I have done course. I have done image consulting course from ICBI. Wow, that's interesting. So now, since you are a professional, you can say, and when it comes to anybody, like who are the people who approaches you? How 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 is the start normally? Like, how do you start? basically image consulting it's for everybody but for me uh, if you talk about mostly the people like age group 27 to 40 years approaches me generally mm-hmm. professionals or maybe the students who are looking for job so right. job prospective like so many 
the times that mm-hmm. happen we have they are not confident enough to face the interview and so many times they have everything like for example any startup owner okay he mm-hmm. is a good communicator everything but they have complained and they have told me that they face challenge when they have to pitch their business idea to the investor Right. Don't take them seriously because they look like a child or state or college student. Absolutely. So in I, this, when people approaches you, like because you know, like it is all about how you are going to train them to how to present themselves for whatever challenges they have facing in terms of to getting into any professional levels. So when somebody approaches you, normally even today, since you are a part with me and people are listening to you, how would you advise the new newcomers for the as in start? Because not everybody goes for these courses that. and and it is a concept which very few are aware of it to be very honest there are very few people who are aware about image consultancy and there are so many people every year so many pass outs are there they started looking for the jobs and all but still they like lack out because of the lack of the knowledge so for them what's your advice my advice is like i'm not saying that go and do the image consulting course but definitely i'll advise that you need to take advice from some expert or some consultation from expert if you are facing some challenges okay like sometime it happens uh, you know people have self image issue they don't mm-hmm. love themselves okay that's what they are not able to express them properly so you mm-hmm. need to talk people who, okay who work maybe psychologists maybe image consultant or sometime it happens you have everything okay but you are not progressing in your career and you don't find out that what is a problem why it's happening and mm-hmm. if you are a student okay you are going to start a new journey so many right. things you don't know right you don't know how to face a interview you don't know we know that much only that okay in interview we need to wear formals okay that Absolutely. only information we have but you don't know there is a degree of formals okay there are different kind of degrees your uh, you know according to your job role according to your company according to your company culture you need to wear formal mm-hmm. for example if you are going for uh, the interview as a designer fashion industry uh, as a fashion designer okay mm-hmm. so you are not supposed to wear white shirt and black pants okay wow. if you wear it is a formal but if you go like this in the fashion industry or fashion magazine maybe they will not consider you because they are trying to find out a designer okay who love colors who shows some creativity in their outfit as well absolutely okay but similarly if you are going for suppose scientist okay you are going for the interview and the role is a scientist and you are wearing the suit okay suit mm-hmm. in the sense the business suit but its mm-hmm. color is red anyhow you are wearing formal only it's a formal suit okay but still you get rejected because it's not correct uh, you know for that position so you need to find out like formal is not only formal okay there are degrees matters there are you know your role job role matter your uh, industry matters your company culture matter everything matters and you need to find out like what kind of dress you need to wear for example black color you know black color jacket you should not wear whenever you go for any interview oh it's not uh, advisable but uh, most of the time people don't know see similarly like resume most of the student they don't know that resume should be different different for different job roles mm-hmm. generally they apply you know they send same resume for all job posts or all job company all companies okay but it should be different so these small small things you need to take care and how you need to behave even though when you go and you know you you get got a call and you get selected you go for the interview that time you know how you are entering into the room how you are knocking mm-hmm. how you are behaving your body language okay you your smile your confidence these all things are matters so so deeply and you know, so so deeply you are trying to explain but definitely i feel this is so important for every individual who is applying 
uh, for any profession and there should be a certain guidance that you've been sharing so in this case uh, well, since you are an image consultant i believe uh, there should be some approach if anybody wants your guidance and how can the person approaches you yeah if somebody wants to reach out to me i have my website uh, you can reach out to my website or i am uh, present there in the social media instagram facebook linkedin wherever you want you can go and find out to me understood so puja ji you do one thing just kindly share all your details uh, specifically which we can put up in the description so that because there are so many people who need such guidance and it is so important in today's you can say the commercial world we cannot be same what we are with friends we cannot be the same with into our business for professionals every individual has their own role and we have to play our part in this and you have been a great mentor for people who want to get into the corporate world so it is something which is the need of today and you've been playing an important role in this so i believe any anybody who wants to approach for a professional corporate job or any uh, any of the interviews the person wishes to a perfect approach towards that is needed and uh, pooja is also to guide and assist all of us isn't it yeah yeah sure so th- it's, it's wonderful tonight. Yes of course it's wonderful to have you Pooja as my perfect woman definitely I'd like to ask you one thing since you have been playing with your role in the whole life from different faculties to different you to pursue your career and hobby what is your say on an individual who wishes to be something what they believe in but you know like at times as you said there from the field of science you, you converted yourself towards uh, the other field if anybody has that dream in themselves what's your say as in perfect woman as in empowered woman as an empowered personality altogether so first thing like if you want to reach out to your dreams first of all the thing is self belief without mm. that you know uh, even though you know a lot of thing even though you have lot of resources whatever but if you don't have this one thing okay nobody in this world gonna believe you even your parents even though you know your uh, friends so first of all you need to believe on your idea okay then only the rest of the world gonna believe that yes it will happen second thing that... is that, you know uh, self believe is needed and second thing is your research uh, confidence confidence mm-hmm. but over confidence is very bad so you need to have a proper idea whatever field you are choosing it should not be like you know i just wanted to do it right, okay for right. example you chosen any field there is no client no scope nothing is there okay it's outdated okay. so may people are very uh, motivated for that or you are very enthusiastic for that but that idea is not scalable okay so you mm-hmm. need to be thoughtful and you need to you know uh, you can say that you can separate from your yourself from your emotion and you need to think logically also wow you uh, i do i have seen you and even seen you in my instagram live also you seem to be a very small and a pretty and a beautiful young girl but today when t- while talking to you i feel that this girl is such a mature in terms of talking and sharing your views and your experience definitely it is all about what you have gone through but it has made you so strong that i can see that you are a perfect mentor today for the i'm sure 100% for majority of the people who have been working with so it's it's great to have you as a panel member also and i'm so My happy so- to know about your your career and your goals we we'll look forward to meet you again and definitely uh, i'm going to be sharing your details and descriptions in my box so that people who wish to approach you probably you are always there just to call away for them this them in a perfect manner where they can reach their goals and you help them to reach and achieve what they wish for yeah sure ma'am i think here and i always love whenever we talk you know talk to you the way you uh, explain the the way you ask questions it's you know quite enjoyable and i always talk my heart out whenever i speak with you so it's well, my thank pleasure thank you to thank you so much and i look forward for this and i really wish a lot of success for you and your future in the us thank you so much for joining me today and i'm going to be catching you very soon again
Yeah, sure ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, Ali. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.